Gemini, how are you going? Welcome to your Astro Flower weekly reading here. Uh, and yes, going for um, the 1st to the 7th of July. What a what weekend. Have you had a bizarre weekend? I've had a really bizarre weekend. I've traveled from the from UK to the south of France, right? It's about 800 miles. And also, including in that, uh, you've got to think about, the, uh, you know, I had to catch a ferry and everything like that. Okay, so I started the journey. And I hit a massive pothole in the car. I didn't think much about it. Finally got off across the ferry to France. And that was a palaver within itself. A real adventure. Yeah. And then I went, I was just over in France. And I thought, I'd better fill up with petrol. Because I still had 600 miles left to go. And it was 7.30 at night. And I pulled into the petrol station, filled the car up and everything like that. And as I was getting in the car, I just noticed there was a massive blister on the front wheel. And the and this and I still had six hundred miles to go. There was no um, way of getting a wheel change or anything like that. Yeah, I had the spare wheel, which was just one of those donuts, and I kind of had this inner voice that was sort of saying to me, "Don't worry, you're going to make it." So I sort of started limping my way back the six hundred miles back to the south of France, and it was raining cats and dogs. There was all the ingredients for it to be catastrophic, but actually it came out really well. So I hope the same thing is happening for you. If it is, tell me in the comments. It'd be very interesting. And I've already spoken to a couple of people, uh, and they've been having, you know, strange experiences this weekend. Nice experiences, but strange. But anyway, let's go on for your weekly reading, shall we? Um, yes, lovely to see you here. Thank you very much for your subs and everything like that. Uh, let's. Uh, this is the overall energy, the karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, influence on the universe, influence on far self influence on future self and the message or the lesson to be learned out this week let's just go straight in and see what's going on for you in here on the overall message there seems to be it's like a laughter that's like you know you want to laugh but it's probably not appropriate really to laugh but at the same time if you did laugh people would understand there seems to be this undercurrent joy that's either not being expressed or wants to be expressed, but someone needs to just kind of go, I'll oh, blow it, I'm going to laugh, you know. And when they laugh, everyone kind of goes, actually, yeah, very funny. It's like someone who starts laughing on the train, you know, on the, on the, on the subway or the tube, you know, and then, and then they start laughing, and you don't know what they're laughing at, but you end up laughing. It's like yawning. It's infectious. And I would allow it to come out, really, more than anything else. Death and rebirth. Yet yeah, this is the new you. I think you've got to learn to let it come to the surface. And I think you need to let that to come to the surface within your workspace and within your relationship side. Allowing the joyous side of life to come to the surface. Once you do that, actually, I think you're going to find there's a lot of people that have the same attributes or outlook as you uh, going on. On your karmic path and your relationship side, it's really big. It's very solid. It's... <laughs> It's like you know what you've got to do now. You should be getting on and doing. And the universe here is, it's got this, like, um, a joyous fountain for you to experience new emotions in life. And in your past self, there's just this solidness about it. There's this idea that, um, yeah, you might have been through horrific last year. And I think it has been quite difficult for you for about a year, to be honest. And I think that's the time coming, the, the transition between Pluto and a Capricorn into, a, into Aquarius coming into an air sign, which is the same as you. And I think it's been quite difficult sometimes and very serious for a lot of air signs. And now it's a kind of like, kind of like, it's a serious process making champagne. But there's nothing more joyous than hearing it pop. You know what I mean? And that's where I think this is what you've got to realise. And that's where the past comes in. It's very sort of serious, as it were. You've done a lot of work, basically. Uh, in your future self, this is playing into this. It depends... <clears throat> it can be massive, as big as you wish it to be, you know, and it all depends about how much you engage your happiness within it all, you know, and um, I, there's an old phrase that people used to say, laugh, you never know, it may never happen, you know, and I think it's like, it's like that. It's like someone farting in a, in a silent church at a funeral and it was an accident. They didn't do it on purpose. And everyone's sitting around kind of going, I really want to laugh, but this is not the appropriate moment. Maybe it is. Maybe that funeral 
and the you know that person who has been passed away and everyone's respecting that person maybe that person is probably sitting upstairs kind of going oh i would laugh i would laugh laugh guys a bit happy yeah okay my life is over but you know laugh that sort of thing that's the sort of thing that's coming out you know so you know laugh it may never happen you know celebration getting this is your karmic path it's very it's massive it's you connecting with the world of people this is all about that celebration and laughing that undercurrent and allowing it to come to the surface and look at that you get that from the um oh this is brilliant look at that gemini oh man once you let it start flowing that's when you really get in line with yourself and you know you have a wicked sense of humor when you allow it to be I think a lot of people may not understand it sometimes, you know. Um, but you imagine if Monty Python said, no, people won't understand the humour of hitting another person with just a massive cold, wet fish, <laughs> you know. You know, you have to break rules here, I think. Not, you know, you know, not transgress people, but, you know, open up. And this is where the more you celebrate, the more you get in alignment with yourself, you know. Yes, you've done the work. This is from the past self. You've done the work. Look at that, the hangman. You've done a lot of investigation. You've got this solid, deep understanding, not only about yourself, but also about the world around you, about the connection with other people, um, with it all. And that's where you've really got to get an alignment and get your celebrations going. And in the future self, you get the devil. My think here is, is that because you've got you can have this possibility of having this joyous engagement and allowing this sort of thing to come to the surface there is going to be some people that are going to try to um take you off your your path of what you should be going which is that celebration and the universe is all sort of like bringing you in alignment with yourself or with another person okay and this is someone like in the future that may be kind of going don't laugh it's not nice and you kind of go, what laughter is not nice, man. Really? Okay. What should we all always be crying? But hey, hang on. You know what I mean? Laugh. It may never happen. It's like people are trying to divert you off your path by by making you sort of like be too serious. And I think that's what you've got to avoid because I think once you start opening up to this world, that's when you start getting the good results. You know. Yeah, putting yourself forward. Have a laugh. It may never happen. You need to allow this energy to come to the surface here. I won't say it's a test, but it is, right? Um, it is a test for yourself. And you'll kick yourself when you come home at night and during the day you had an opportunity to laugh and you didn't because, you know, you thought, oh, it's not good etiquette. Uh, you'll be kicking yourself later on in life. So once you do allow yourself to do it, this is it. Once you start putting yourself first, then therefore you can start sharing that laughter with everybody around you. And that's what it's all about. It's a real transition this week. And that's why you've got the death and rebirth in the, more, in, in the overall energies here. And this is what's at the surface. This is what needs to be dealt with. And what, how does it need to be dealt with? Very beautiful celebrationary sort of thing. Let's just see what's going on with your... Um, if you do engage in, in that way, I think this is where you're going to find yourself in love with someone because someone's going to look at you and kind of go, Gemini, you shouldn't have laughed, but it made me laugh. It made me, I, I, it's exactly what I wanted to do. What are you doing on Saturday night? Let's go out for a meal. And that's it. You're off and you're rocking and rolling. Do you know what I mean? Just allow it to happen, Gemini. You, it, seriously, it could end tomorrow for every single one of us. So live today. Let's just see what's going on your financial side. Yeah, okay, you're taking control here. There's a lot less coming in from the universe here because you're taking center stage uh, in your own pathway. You're really taking center stage. You're taking control of your own destiny, of where you should be going, basically, uh, in life. And so, let me just put that back there. Um, you know, and in your past, your past is really pouring out. It's like you've been investing in your life. And that could be, say, like, Investing in a business or in a project, could be like a house or, or uh, you know, you might sort of turn around and sort of say, okay, in that case, I want to buy buy a you know a camping car and and you know and a motorhome and just drive across the UK or whatever it is or drive across America, you know, I need to do that as a project and you do sort of it in stages and stuff like that, and I think this is where you know 
your future is is open to that sort of thing um, of bringing it forward, bringing a whole new new way of doing things and engaging in it. Absolutely beautiful. So from your past, there's a sort of like um, there's a there's a definite understanding of putting things into place so you've got this transition and your future self is really opening up to sort of building into a new project and what have you uh let's just see what, what the overall message is for this week in order to change hang on a second i need to get that clarified there In order to change the world, we need to adapt to ourselves as we're changing. So um, if you're investing in something and in 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 you're taking control of your pathway, um, you have to stand up and be resilient against um, questioning or um, sort of like competition uh, and so forth. So I think, you you know, once you've got these project, these side projects that you've been building in your life and you've been building a lot and this is where the past comes in so you've built this whole project of traveling across the um off uh, across the united states or across the uk in your motorhome this is where you've got to sort of like understand that people are not going to understand it some people are not going to understand it you need to stand up against that you know and this is where you can take control of your life totally taking control look at that king of wands you're standing in your power this is your karmic path on your financial side I think this has to do with projects uh, more than um, uh, projects and business rather than going and getting a job. And if you're in a job, I think it's standing your ground and standing your position. That will allow you to go on and get your promotion. And the universe here is also is backing you up with these healthy boundaries with this uh, king of uh, wands here. It's got those that that person there has got that one wand and is going off on that mission. And the universe has understood your position. This is why it was taking a back seat in a way. Because it's taking a back seat, it's like kind of saying, Gemini, I've got your back. I understand where you're going and I know what you want to do. And you've got to get on and do it. And this is when you're going to start really shining. Yeah, in the past, it's been very obvious for you. you, you this is, there's seven of cups. There is only one cup that's given you the good stuff. And the seven for me is like revelation. It's like revealing to you that your projects or your business is really important. And once you start doing it, that's when you're going to sort of change the world around you through doing your projects, through doing your business or whatever you need to do. Yeah. Hmm. In your future self, something that's dead, done and dusted with. I think this is to do with competition, questioning. I think the past of being the secure person in the room, you know, being the um, person who is going to be the most um, most secure or sort of reliable or, you know, consistent is still there. But rather than people just dumping stuff on you and kind of going, don't worry, Gemini will be able to deal with it, you know, because they're so very good. You're starting to do it for yourself. And I think that's what the, <laughs> the outcome is, is that revelation. You know, uh, just going ahead and doing it. And, uh, you know, this is where you, because you, you know it within you what you should be doing on your material path. There seems to be this transition that you've been through. And we've seen that on your readings as well. And once you've gone through that transition, yes, you're going to be receiving sort of the world that is questioning you a little bit through competition, through various things. I think you're going to be able to sort of turn, turn around and sort of say, uh, no, this is what I've got to do. I know it doesn't seem logical for you, but it, it is totally logical for me. And this is where you can really stand in your power, basically. Let's just see what's going on with the light seers card, shall we? Death and rebirth, you get the moon. Yes, it is going to bring a lot of new stuff to the surface. New sort of um, emotions, um, revealing a lot of the underbelly of life. And I think that's what the question is. Um, and competition is all about on your sort of material sort of side. It's bringing things in within you to the surface that you may not have confronted before, and I think it's a really good thing. With the three of cups, you get this. This is it. The moment you start engaging and allowing that undercurrent of joy to come to the surface, you have got a multitude. Your wicked sense of humour, your kindness, you know, your 
practicality, your reliability, everything's going to come to the surface. And I think people are going to celebrate it. And this is where it's going to open a brand new mission for you in regards to love. And also in regards to a mission of you being connected with yourself. You've done the work, Gemini. It's unfortunate the world has not done it around you. But they will learn because you will get in and this is it. You've got the three of cups as well here on the hangman card here. You've done a lot of work with inside yourself in order for you to celebrate or enjoy your connection with everybody that is around you. And to enjoy that, you've got to let things come to the surface. You know, that normally we would have said, oh, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say that or do that because you never know. Someone may take it wrong. If they take it wrong, that's their problem, not yours, man. Really is. Yeah, you have to be smart in the future because if you allow yourself to the, it's like you start allowing your emotions to come to the surface. You start shining a light on life around you in a very joyous way. There's going to be people who are going to want a piece of you. And I think you need to be very um, astute about that. You know, you don't kind of go, you stay away from me. No, no, what am I going to do with you? Just kind of go, oh, yeah, that's nice. I'm like, yeah, but I'm actually going after this. You know, I'm going, This my path is going this way. Very nice to meet you, though. You know, that sort of thing. Just keep going on it. Nine of Wands, You. this is it. Protect yourself. This is what I'm sort of saying. You need to be sort of like, boom. I'm going after what I need to go after. I need to allow that joy to come out of me. Once you do, that's when you're going to have those healthy boundaries, and you're going to be able to go off on that mission. Because that person there is obviously carrying that one wand. It's like, you know, the eight of wands is the understanding behind you, the communication you had, the insights you had behind. That is your healthy boundaries. And that's what came out in that. And this is where you should be going on. A mission of love. Yeah. Gemini, man. Good. I like it. I like it. King of wands, you get the two of wands. Your plan. Your plan for your future. Own it. Basically, own it. It's on your karmic path. You will get a lot of support. That's what the Nine of Wands is all about from the universe. A lot of support. And that's what the Seven of Cups is about. The support within you is that you know. You feel it. You know that it's the right thing to do. The universe is going to defend you. It's going to fight for you. If you're willing to stand up in your karmic path and do what you've got to do, you know, and be you. Once you start doing that, the universe has really got your back. There's a lot of things that are going to be curtailed and you won't even know it. Because, you know, there's a lot of energies working around you to help you out here. With the seven of cups, you get the page of wands, uh, page of swords, sorry. A lot of ideas have come to the surface through this once it's absolutely clear where you should go a lot of ideas is how do i do this and i think this is where you know all your sidelines your business and your your connection and everything like that is really coming to the fore and there's going to mean that certain things in the future once you start living this for real then there's certain things that are going to be dead done and dusted with and i think it's all to do with a job yes as I've been saying in the past, I think, you know, you're so reliable. People put a lot of things on your shoulders that they shouldn't do. And that needs to come to an end. Not in a nasty way at all. It's just sort of saying, you know, you're never better served by yourself, as it were, by, by you know, by, by oneself. And I think this is where, you know, you need to stand your ground. And I think that's what that is all about. Once you start living your path, and sort of uh, going after those projects or those business or exploring those sort of avenues and that change that you should be going through or should be in, then you can then really sort of like say goodbye to things that have been holding you back. And the lesson out of this, this week here, this judgment card of just going ahead and living it, you know, living you what you should be doing, you get the hermit here. And I think this is what comes out of here. You've been through a lot. I've noticed it. There's been a, a big yearning within you to say, I don't want to do this job anymore. Or um, although I love this job, it's I've come to the end of the trail of what I get out of it. I want to do something new. And that's what's been building up inside you. And this is what you need to live. And it has 
torn at you. It's it's helped you to see your, you know, your light and shadow side of you. And that's what you've got to express, I think, in the new way of doing things. Once you start expressing it, that's when you're going to get the good results. You know, it will come out in your favor. Whatever you're doing, Gemini, I, I would explore those personal projects and explore those business and so forth on your financial side. There you go, Gemini. Thanking you very much for being here. Really do appreciate it. I hope you get the best out of these readings. Um, thank you very much for all your support that you can show through the YouTube system. If you're not subscribed, why not? You know, if you're not, if you got this far and you haven't subscribed, I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Fair play to you. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe. It's lovely to have you here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, that's all for me left to say. Is don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy. <laughs>